happened in Las Vegas. My auntie and her brother live in Las Vegas. And my auntie wanted to redo her roof on her house. And my uncle's like expertise in that kind of stuff. Like he does roofs, insulation, the whole nine yards. So she asked him if he could do it for her. Well, my uncle is a drug addict, an opiate user, a heroin addict. So the Las Vegas heat is intense, like hot, super hotter than here. Well, one day uh, they were getting ready to do the roof. So my uncle thought it'd be a good idea if he did a, did a drug shot or whatever you'd want to say into his body, into his bloodstream, the heroin. So he, he did that before he was going to get on the roof. So he did his, he did whatever, a shot of heroin in his body and he went into the roof to start doing the roof. Well, I guess it didn't hit him till like maybe 15, 20 minutes later. The heat, the drugs, everything just started getting to him. And I guess he started getting lightheaded. But before, because he was realizing that it was getting to him, so he was just gonna try to get off the roof and go inside. But before he could even get up to get down of the roof, it just hit him, boom. And he just fell off the roof, rolled off, boom. So when he was laying down, we all ran up to him and try to wake him up hey we didn't know if it we knew what he did we knew he did shoot up the drugs but we didn't know if he was knocked out because of the drug or because of the fall so we were trying to wake him up we were, we were trying to guess that it was just the fall because he fell off the roof but we're trying to wake him up wake him up he he wasn't responding waking up try to get water splash a little bit on his face he still wasn't waking up we didn't know that he was overdosing until he started to turn like blue. He started turning like a water blue, like an ocean blue or whatever, like blue. Like he was losing air, losing everything. So then we realized he was overdosing. Well, he was still laying in the sun. So we had to move, grab his, my auntie ran and called 911 and we had to grab his body and move him to some shade. The ambulance took, took a little minute took maybe like 10, 15 minutes, I guess, because it's Las Vegas. It was pretty quick, but pretty long at the same time. They ended up going to the house. We told them what happened. We said, at first we didn't know if he just hit his head and knocked out, or if it was because he did a, he did a shot of drugs before he went on the roof. Well, they said because of his color and the way he looks, that he was overdosing. So we were like, okay. So the ambulance, they were talking about a Narcan. I think if the Narcan wasn't available, I think he probably would have been a goner. I think because of the heat, who knows how um, how big of a amount of drug he used, I, he would have been gone because we tried to do everything in the book. We tried to give him CPR, mouth to mouth, throw water on his face. Nothing was Nothing was waking him up. He wasn't responding to nothing. But as soon as they came and gave him that Narcan is when it, he seemed to start breathing and start getting back into consciousness. So if that wasn't there, I think he would have been gone dead.